Hello everyone, this is Pika Entertainment and we are back again. I'm now going to talk again about Gina Carano and this will be my second video on the hugely controversial announcement about her recently being fired from the Mandalorian TV show. Now, in part one video, which I will leave a link within the description, I've already talked about the timeline of events and the reasons as to why I felt she was fired and I felt this was a major example of celebrities, actors or actresses and the potential hazards and dangers of engaging within social media. So you can check out that video where I talk in depth about what happened and the reasons for it. Now a lot of debate has centred around this issue talking about the never-ending concerns of cancel culture, the reactions towards Gina's Instagram post concerning this and their further statements after this but I think there are also further elements concerning this issues and I want to talk about them within the second part of this video. Now I think there are two really underlying themes that are highlighted throughout this issue. One is that of hypocrisy and two is that it's of double standards. Now the hypocrisy I'm talking about here is within I think major studios and how they treat certain actors or actresses and the whole issue of people being cancelled for something they tweet within two years ago, five years ago, ten years ago. We're really seeing what I think is an overall inconsistency as to how certain individuals are being treated. Now you could argue that every case has to be taken on its own merit. There'll be some cases where some tweets are considered to be far more provocative or controversial or offensive than others but we really are seeing a much more of what I think is a scattershot approach to the issue of tweets online and social media posting we're seeing certain individuals posting very offensive and very provocative material and still keeping their careers and we're seeing other individuals posting things that are not as provocative not as controversial but ended up losing careers so I think there is a hypocrisy going on in particular we're going to talk about Lucasfilm and Disney and how they treat certain employees and the second issue we're going to talk about double standards and I think there are two sides to this there is a double standard within the studios and how they treat certain individuals but I think also there is a double standard within fandom and how they support one individual or support the other they give initial outrage to one subject but not as much to the other subject for most relevancy we look at the first example and that is of Pedro Pascal now I'm pretty sure you all know who Pedro Pascal is but just in case anybody that doesn't he is of course the lead actor for the Mandalorian show and there was similar controversy surrounding his own social media tweets and I will show one of the examples here where he shows three images vertically after one another showing the swastika symbol of the nazis of course and given a certain years now many people felt this was hugely provocative because they felt that within this post he was implying that certain people with certain political beliefs were nazis and he's given the years on this post here showing that people how are losers they've lost this debate here in this year they lost this issue here and he's kind of linking to them losing again within 2020 as opposed to what happened within nazi germany now this was hugely controversial sparked off a lot of debate and yes there were similar calls for pedro to be fired as what there was with gina as well now what people are asking in this scenario is why wasn't pedro fired right because what he's posted here we could argue is, is equally as controversial and provocative as what Gina posted on her social media so why wasn't Pedro fired why didn't Lucasfilm take issue with him I mentioned in the part one of this video that it would have been more ideal I feel for Gina to hold back within her social media so why didn't we see a similar action from Pedro why is he continually to remain active on social media there's also been a recent announcement that he has been cast as the lead for HBO's adaptation of the computer game The Last of Us so why is it that Pedro has been allowed to continue with his career whilst Gina has now been fired from the show this is a question a lot of people have been asking is it because Pedro is the lead character of the show so as we all know the driving force behind the Mandalorian is the Mandalorian and his relationship with Baby Yoda so we could argue that Pedro 
is far more integral to the show than what Gina Carano is as Cara June because as I mentioned in part one of the video Cara June is very much of a supporting character she I think has been in a total of four to five episodes right whereas Pedro is the main character of the show so would it impact them a lot more if you sack the lead actor of the show would it be able to continue as we all know the Mandalorian has been very successful it's really well for a short while it managed to really reverse the negative perception of the recent Star Wars content and the Mandalorian very much has a momentum going ahead on Disney Plus so would firing Pedro Pascal be the most ideal situation as the lead actor the lead character of the show now is this again hypocrisy by Disney because you're firing one actor for posting controversial tweets but you're retaining the other actor right for the, doing the same thing so should Pedro have been fired in the same way that Gina should have done and in principle I would say yes I would say in this scenario here you have to be consistent if you're going to treat actor one the same you have to treat the other actor the same is it again because Pedro is a lead actor he's a more established actor of course than what Gina is is that why they are retaining him for the show so I think that's one case perhaps of double standards and hypocrisy we then go on to the second example and that is of course James Gunn a lot of people have brought this example up now just in case anybody doesn't know James Gunn of course is the director of the hugely successful Guardians of the Galaxy movies set within the Marvel Cinematic Universe now the issue here was that fired by Disney following the reveal of numerous tweets where he was making ongoing jokes and really concerning rape and paedophilia and this is really quite disturbing stuff even though it was meant in a more humorous fashion that doesn't matter the fact that he was covering such really provocative subject material inclined Disney to fire him now there was huge controversy surrounding this when it happened a lot of people again were bringing up the issues of cancel culture and whether James Gunn should be fired for tweets he sent out and this was i think about at least nine to ten years ago he was in a much different place before he went on to direct the guidance in the galaxy people were debating should he be vilified for stuff he'd done in the past why didn't disney do a, like a reference check within his social media prior to hiring him now we all of course know that shortly after this firing he was later on reinstalled and he is now of course in place to direct the third guardians of the galaxy movie and he is of course directing the suicide squad sequel for warner brothers so many people are asking once again why is it that james gunn was reinstated for again posting what i would deem and i've seen the tweets i won't post them on this video but i've seen the tweets and and they were far more controversial i think far more offensive than anything that gina has provided so again people asking why is it that james gunn has managed to get a foothold of his career again whereas gina hasn't so far now we have to be clear here there is no reason why gina couldn't get reinstated you know once all of this dies down and maybe a couple of months later Disney may decide or Lucasfilm may decide to reinstate Gina Carano so we have to leave that for an open possibility but again people are asking again why aren't we seeing the same treatment here now is it because of course the Guardians of the Galaxy are hugely financial successes for the Marvel Cinematic Universe and let's make no mistake about it the major reason for that is James Gunn and his style towards those movies he created this much more of a wacky space comedy and that was very much a change in tone within the marvel cinematic universe and i think it was very much of a novelty and a surprise for audiences within the superhero genre and it was very much james gunn's tone and his vision that made guardians of the galaxy such a standout entry within the mcu and led to it being such a massive financial success so as i mentioned in my first video an actor an actress or a director or anybody working within the entertainment industry is a commercial financial viable asset and is it because James Gunn is a massive viable asset for Marvel for Disney that it was too much to have him leave the Marvel Cinematic Universe and the Guardians of the Galaxy now they could have easily recast or selected another director but they would have brought another tone and vision towards guardians of the galaxy and it may not have been successful as what james gunn brought to the table so maybe that's the reason why right and also within the james gunn case 
you have to remember a lot of the actors within the Guardians of the Galaxy cast, they were coming forward and really showing their full on support for James Gunn. You know, Dave Batista, Chris Pratt, Zoe Saldana, they all came out in full support for the actors. So, again, maybe this scared Marvel and Disney because if you have the actors coming and supporting the director, was there a scenario where maybe they wouldn't come back for the third film? And like I said, as well as James Gunn's direction, a lot of the cast for the movie were hugely integral to the success of the Guardians of the Galaxy. So there's no way that Marvel were only going to risk losing James Gunn, but also risk losing all of the cast members. The studios will focus most on what makes them the most money and the most profit. So James Gunn, in this scenario here was a much more of a financial commercially viable asset for disney than what gina carano was find it a lot easier to replace gina rather than what you would james gunn marvel felt that james gunn brings a lot more to the table than what gina does and i think that was the primary reason why he was reinstated and possibly why we won't see gina carano reinstated at the time of making this video within the 12th of february but we will wait and see what happens so again that is a lot about hypocrisy because again you're treating one individual differently to the how you treat another individual for essentially the same offense and also again double standards in terms of are you keeping one individual because they will end up making you more money than what the other individual will now i think the most relevant example when we compare to gina carano in terms of hypocrisy by disney or lucasfilm is the recent hiring of christina ariel now for anybody who doesn't know she is a recent actress who was selected to be the host of the new star wars high republic show which is showcasing the new star wars content surrounding the stories of the high republic era which takes place hundreds of years before the original star wars trilogy now when christina ariel was hired there was a huge amount of controversy because as is the case nowadays whenever someone enters a new role or a new occupation there is this huge dive into their social media and people again will try and dig up anything possible any quotes interviews tweets that they've done in the past now it was uncovered in terms of Christina's case that there was this huge amount of what could seem to be racially provocative tweets, stereotypical of white people. She makes referral comments about white people and their political views and their habits and how their attitudes are. And when you read these tweets, yes, by all means, these could be seen as racially provocative tweets. And a lot of people referred to this when this news came out about how if you replace the wording of her tweets from white to black then what would be the reaction and how would lucas film and disney treat this scenario so again people ask the question why has christina ariel been able to retain her job as the host of the star wars high republic show and gina carano has been fired and once again when you compare the two christine ariel's tweets were far more provocative for me far more controversial and far more offensive than what gina had tweeted as well so again why are we seeing such a change in the treatment or such a difference in the handling of the two separate individuals now i think in terms of christina ariel there's no getting away from it lucasfilm at disney are scared because christina ariel is black and the fact that if you sacked her which i think would have been perfectly justifiable considering when you read the nature of her tweets but i think there was a fear that if you sack a black individual that they feared that they would be accused of racism okay and many people have adjusted again this perspective that if it was a white person making a tweets about a black person or any other ethnic minority then they would have been sacked immediately and that is the case most certainly i believe that so i think again this was a case of lucasfilm being very hypocritical and they stirred the pot even further when they shortly after afterwards released a tweet which i'll show on the screen here now when they were showing support towards bullying and attacks on social media and they said that we are in full support of christina ariel so again fans are asking why again the double standard 
Why are we treating Christina Ariel in such high praise and protecting her, but why are we not showing the same support for Gina Carano? And it's a valid question. And again, I think this is a case of they were too scared because they felt if they sacked Christina Ariel, they would be accused of racism because they are sacking a black individual. I firmly believe that's the case. And again, this highlights again the hypocrisy and double standards surrounding this Gina Carano issue. So those are the three examples in terms of the studio showing both hypocrisy and double standards. Now I'm going to switch gears and I'm not going to talk about fandom now and this may be the unpopular part of the video for anybody that's still watching because I do feel that there is a certain element of hypocrisy and double standards within fandom also. Now when I talk about this I talk about two issues here now. We bring up again the issue of Brie Larson. Now, I'm pretty sure everybody within fandom knows what happened with Brie Larson. But just in case anybody that doesn't know, Brie Larson, of course, was selected for the role as Captain Marvel as the first really big female-led superhero entry within the MCU. Now, shortly after this, during an awards presentation, Brie Larson made the, I think we could all agree, very foolish statement about diversity and representation. And she made reference to the upcoming movie Wrinkle in Time. She stated that it wasn't made for a movie about 40-year-old white dudes. She doesn't care about what they think about Wrinkle in Time. It wasn't made for them. This, of course, made huge shockwaves around the internet and media. And lots of big YouTube personalities and YouTube channels really found their success through the controversy surrounding Brie Larson's statements. And we saw really a lot of various tweets and videos there were so many videos made about Brie Larson initially I think was justifiable because of following her statements but post that when Brie Larson shortly made an apology and really distanced herself away from social social media we had this ongoing swath of videos and articles and tweets it was never ended if you really go back to this time of Captain Marvel it was never ending people many felt that she was being attacked online very similar to what Gina Carano is right many people felt that Brie Larson was being bullied she was being attacked for no reason many people felt that this constant scrutiny and focus on Brie Larson was over the top and many felt that this caused a opposing rallying to support Brie Larson and Captain Marvel and many people felt that this was one of the reasons why Captain Marvel made a billion at the box office so when we look at Brie Larson and so many of the big YouTube personalities you know they really showed I think a lot of hatred towards her but then we flip it to the other side and the same big YouTube personalities and channels they are so for him and in their support for Gina Carano feeling that Gina Carano has been bullied unnecessary for airing her thoughts and opinions that she's been untaxed for no reason and they've spoken a lot within the last day or two about her being fired from the show unnecessarily so what people are asking is how can you be supportive of Gina Carano and fighting her cause for being bullied and victimized but then only two years ago you were very much attacking Brie Larson. How can you speak so much against one issue, right, when you were very much contributing towards the attack of Brie Larson for another issue? Now, people may say, well, Brie Larson made a very controversial statement that left her open to criticism, and yes, you could argue that. But hasn't Gina Carano? You know, when you go through her tweets and didn't Gina Carano leave herself open to criticism? You know, we look at the most recent Instagram post where I mentioned before. Didn't she leave herself open to attack? Didn't she leave herself open to online scrutiny? Didn't she leave herself to online criticism? So how can you criticise people for attacking Gina Carano when you yourselves were doing very much the same thing for Brie Larson? Is that not a hypocrisy on your part? Right? Is this again a double standard because you felt that because Brie Larson attacked white people as a a specific age that you felt offended to that but you didn't feel as offensive towards Gina Carano because you felt she was speaking a lot about the political views that you agree with right so is this not a double standard why are we supportive so much for Gina Carano but we weren't supportive so much for Brie Larson do you see what I'm saying you know because bullying and victimization online is what it is right and we could argue 
that both Brie Larson and Gina Carano suffered very much the same amount of abuse for airing their opinions regardless of whether you agree with those opinions or not we could easily say that both individuals shared a similar amount of attack online on social media so really it's kind of the same scenario right so again is this not an hypocrisy is this not a case of double standards within social media fandom you know i think that's a very valid question and then we go on to the last issue that i want to bring up on it in terms of fandom now when gina carano was fired we saw a lot of hashtags fire gina carano we stand up for gina carano but one particular hashtag i want to bring up was that of cancel disney plus now what i've seen from a lot of videos from a lot of individuals much bigger than my channel of course but the case they're now making is that that you should cancel your subscription from disney plus follow the firing of gina carano okay i've seen a lot you know you should speak out against disney plus you should no longer support their content or review their content now i'm just going to be upfront on here i don't believe this for one minute people who have commented a lot on gina carano and seemingly supported their cause they don't really have gina carano's best interest at heart they as i mentioned before they follow her they they click and like her videos because it's in their interest okay it's in their interest first and foremost for their own platforms their own agendas their own channels in order to build themselves up in a couple of days gina carano will be forgotten about and all of the people that have been supposedly supporting her case will move on to the next trending subject whether it be one division or indeed the snyder cut trailer which comes out in the next couple of days right so all of these people hashtagging cancel disney plus supposedly cancelling their disney plus subscriptions you know damn well that when we get the next one division episode when we get the concluding part of one division which we are now all anticipating is going to be something very huge and significant you know this is indicated very much by elizabeth olsen who has alluded to the fact that we're going to get a massive cameo within the final episode on the same level as what we had for luke skywalker for the mandalorian right when we get that big reveal all of these people that are saying cancel disney plus you know well they're going to be covering that topic they're going to be covering the conclusion of one division when falcon and winter soldier comes on they're going to be covering that when loki debuts on disney plus they're going to be covering that if we indeed get black widow eventually being shown on disney plus they're going to cover that as well right because those will be the next big trending subjects and as a social media influencer or a youtube personality it is really in your best interest to jump on what is trending most and as we know as i've mentioned those contents are going to be trending and shortly afterwards gina carano and i hate to say this but this is the brutal truth will get forgotten about because they have to jump on what is trending next and you know very well for all they protest about cancelling their disney plus subscriptions they're going to be covering the disney plus content now they may argue well they may cancel their disney plus subscriptions but they may find other avenues to watch the content and therefore review it but even if you don't subscribe to disney plus even if you're still covering the content you're still reviewing the content you are supporting disney plus by commenting on it making videos making articles tweeting about it you are supporting disney plus so for all the outrage over cancel disney plus for me i just felt that's a very much of a falsity because unfortunately gina carano will soon be forgotten about and i hate saying this because i do like gina carano but once again this is the hypocrisy and double standards within fandom as well you know when we talk about the hypocrisy and the double standards surrounding gina carano and the different attitudes and treatment to her both from the studio perspective and also from a fandom perspective is it down to more again for people's own gain for their own platform for their own financial reward and i think that is sadly the case and i think that is the further elements when we talk about the whole issue of gina carano being fired from the mandalorian in comparison to cancel culture and how other individuals have been treated both by the studio and both by fandom as well so those are my overall thoughts and feelings on gina carano part two of what i think there are other elements 
to this in terms of the hypocrisy and double standards both by the studios and also by within fandom as well but let me know what you think in the comments below whether you agree with my views or not do you think i'm off base when i'm talking about this do you think there isn't a hypocrisy or double standards within fandom or within studio do you think gina carano deserved to be fired what did you think about other individuals that i've mentioned whether it's pedro pascal james gunn or christina ariel do you think those individuals should have been permanently fired as well from their positions or do you think none of these individuals should be fired from what they tweet and maybe down the road in some case we'll see gina Carano reinstated as well so let me know what you think in the comments below I will leave a link as I mentioned before for my part one video concerning Gina Carano and you can also catch up similar videos when I talk about the likes of the Snyder Cut as well and also Warner Brothers releasing films simultaneously on hbo and also within theaters i will leave the links to all of these more controversial topics within the description of this video as well please also hit those like and subscription and notification buttons and help me grow this channel and provide more content for you in the future and let me know if you like videos like this and you like to see me provide more and cover much more of twitter stories and social media stories as well but that's it for now take care of yourselves Stay at safe distances and I will see you very, very soon.